Right, on to sport. Mm -hmm. Last term, we finished sixth overall in the varsity, which is very impressive considering we don't have any specific sports tailored courses. And also last year, we entered 58 teams to battle in the Boost of Varsity. As most of you already know, the collective name of university sport used to be Boosa, but has now been renamed as Bucks. It has indeed, Ian. It is now known as Bucks, and we don't know mm. why. So I tracked down our AU officer, Paul Lloyd, okay. lovely chap, and uh, asked him to shed some light on the situation. All right, OK, why is it called Bucks instead of Boosa? Uh, well, the reason it's now called Bucks is because it's an amalgamation of two different companies, which is Boosa and UCS. Like, Boosa is the um, student side of it, and UCS is like sports centres. It's actually directors who look at the, look after the facilities and so on. And they brought them together because they wanted to see like this one voice, cheesy sort of thing. And it's um, the idea that if we have this more business approach to it by having two companies joined, then we'll be more respected by like a lot of the national governing bodies, uh, the government, and hopefully get more money from it. Hopefully. And also, we've got a really good facility at New Park. Like, for instance, like Becker Anderson trains there six times a week. So it's pretty awesome. And um, ice hockey is going to be absolutely massive this year. We've got, as well as all the seats, we've now got 44 boxes to sell actual VIP suites. So I reckon it'll be the first time I'm hoping that's ever been sold out. And it's already the biggest, uh, the biggest varsity match outside of America. And I reckon we get an extra thousand this year. I'm really looking forward, you know, to some of these games. Yeah, I really am. And don't forget, you will be able to catch all of the replays of these games online at the Knox website. Today is the 25th of November, 2008. And the residents of Dunkirk will witness a massive clean-up today undertaken by the SU. This is part of the I Love Knots campaign and had one of our own Knots journalists, Kira, down there this morning to find out what is it actually all about. Take a look. Hi, this is Nuts TV. We're joined today by Alice, the community officer. Can you explain today what's going on? Um, this is a clean-up. It's part of the I Love Knots campaign, which is run by the Students' Union to um, encourage students to get involved in the communities that they live in. We're working alongside the university, the city council, and the Dunkirk and Lenten Partnership Board uh, to clean the streets and make Dunkirk a little bit prettier. How exactly did you get involved? Well, I got involved through the Young Conservatives. They sent around emails and I thought, why not? I got some emails from the student volunteer um, part of the uni and um, I just thought might be a good idea. Would you do that again? Has it been a positive experience? Yeah, definitely. All right. And how long have you been out here for? An hour. Yeah, about an hour. <laughs> That's definitely a wing mirror. Have you found anything really strange since you've been down here? Uh, we found a bra. I'm joined now by Yusra. You're a resident of Dunkirk. Yes, I live here uh, about one year and a half now. Okay, how do you um, feel living with the students? I, I didn't have any problems with students, but uh, I feel it's okay and it's a very quiet area. Yeah? There, there are no problems. Okay, what do you think about what they're doing today? They're picking up litter and basically tidying up the area. Is that a positive I think thing? It's, yes, very positive and very nice from them to do so. <laughs> Brilliant, yeah. thank you. Thank you very much. I think um, in Lenton it seems like there's a huge barrier between students and the local people. I think things like this can just get us out there. Um, and just break that barrier, just in a very symbolic way, I suppose. And is it anything difficult to do, or is it just really simple? Um, well, litter picking is, is, is quite easy to see. You know, you just have to get out there with a, quite an interesting stick and pick up some litter. Have you noticed a problem with students living in the area of Nottingham? Uh, no, I haven't noticed a problem. Yeah, do you think there's an issue with rubbish at all, or not? There probably is. I was reading the other day in the paper where the dust just the bin men don't always empty the rubbish proper and sometimes it's on the road and what have you saw an article in the paper about that. Um, we've been helping with the uh, clean up campaign. The, the day started because uh, we organised a community uh, meeting for all the residents in the area and uh, there was quite a few complaints about the number of rubbish and uh, the state of the place. So we work with Street Scene and the University of Nottingham to organise this day. And we've been helping out, basically uh, helping the university and Street Scene with delivering information to residents and also promoting um, the work that we do in the area. Do you have a message to any of the University of Nottingham students? Be respectful to your neighbours and um, come get involved in your community if you can. Brilliant, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I think to everybody to be conscientious about uh, putting rubbish in the right places. 
say it's not a huge difference, it's huge symbolic value because um, we're students and we're within the community as well, not just shut away in our, in our university. What kind of future projects have you got lined up and how can people get involved? Uh, well, the I Love Knox campaign runs along uh, through the whole year, so we've got a clean up plan in Lenton uh, next term, and we'll be doing something in Beeston as well, uh, probably a garden challenge. Um, we also run the Shush campaign throughout the year as well, which is about um, encouraging students to be aware of when they're going home at night and how much noise they're making. It doesn't sound like, like much fun, but it's a really important campaign. So we go to club nights and we'll give out lollipops. So that's ongoing throughout the whole year. Um, it really depends. If you want to go and do something, then you can get involved straight away. So all you need to do is send me an email, let me know, and uh, we can get it up and running. So that's that's the nature of, of the I Love Knots campaign. It's really in your hands because it's about students getting engaged with the areas that they live in. OK, do you have an email address or a website that oh, we yeah, can go to? Oh, yeah, it's sucommunity at nottingham.ac.uk. So that's sucommunity at nottingham.ac.uk. Brilliant. Right. Now on other matters, a common theme on every Nutty show is a story that needs a headline of its own. You know, as university students can get up to and get, you know, busted doing some, let's say, pretty special stuff. Yeah, we'll, we'll call it special stuff. Um, we thought that the topic needed a headline of its own, so we're calling it The Nuts. It is dedicated to all those that feel they have a friend or were involved with something that needs a shout out. We want outrageous. We want crazy. We want outright stupid tales. Just email them in with nuts in the subject line to the email below. I don't have one for this no. this one. No email sent through because it's the first of its kind. But um, it's all right because Ian has volunteered <coughs> to, to uh, inform us of his most embarrassing moment at university thus far. Yes. Ian. Yes. Fortunately, like many students, I've had many embarrassing encounters. Mm. One I can definitely, hopefully many people can relate to, was in first year for an end of year ball. I got, let's say, ridiculously intoxicated, finished the evening around 11 o'clock and was carried home. Upon arrival to my halls, I managed to <coughs> on my friend's leg. Uh, she wasn't, you know, enjoying it too much, but eventually managed to get me to my bed and safe and sound to bed. We'll stop him there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's all from us at Naughty News. If you have any interesting or relevant stories from naked neighbours to political debates, we want to know about them. Email all your suggestions and stories to the address at the bottom of the screen. And we hope to see you online soon. See, see ya. ya. You tell me we've never had an embarrassing moment like that before. Yeah, I have. You've never been carried. I've never, I've never thrown up on someone's oh leg. I threw up. Is that that big? It was horrible. Projectile.